This motor here I just put on in here. It's not even bolted down. It's like I, I bought this like this. There's no bolts, no nothing. Welcome back to the channel. I'm working on this D110 here. So I installed a a 26 horsepower motor on the D110 here. I paid a hundred dollars for it. Now let's see if we get it running. So one thing here. No oil in here, which is odd. Come right off, not bolted down. Good here. I gotta put another gas cable here. It's a lot of work to get this motor running, but we'll see if we can get it running. It seems to only have one compression on one cylinder. Turn it right there, so right there, start the compression stroke starts. Yeah. And then there's none. It take two full turns again right here. So it only has compression on one cylinder. So we're gonna have to take the spark plugs out, figure out which side has compression or not, and then we'll check the valve on that. I'm seeing that bad right there. Right. I'm stick my finger in here and see if I can get the compression coming up here. And I got nothing. I'll take my camera and take a look inside. And that looks really good. Definitely have a valve problem. Hmm. That's interesting. So we got a stuck valve here. So this valve sticking in, so I'm gonna take this rock around. Back here. So I spray a little bit of crap cleaner there. I'm hit my 3.8 extension here, just hit on the valve here. Look at that. That was so easy. Why did it stick like that? Get some more carb cleaner on there. Okay, I'm going to work it some more. Yep, going all the way in. A little bit more. Then I get the valve all freed up. So yeah, I'm gonna put my rocker arm back in here. I'm gonna put my exotic shorts on the lifter inside here. And it is. Push all that in there. Make sure it's good. Let me grease my bolt here. Put a dab of Loctite on there. Double check that push rod. Make sure it's on the lifter. I'm just gonna rotate it twice here. The valve should move. There's the exhaust. There's the intake. And there's the compression right there. And and just slight drag. This is a Torx 40. Hold that there, try to tighten it here. I'm gonna adjust the intake to four thousandths of an inch. It's supposed to be between three and five thousandths of an inch. Now you gotta clean your silicone. I usually do a razor blade here. You can use your fingernail or anything you want to. I'm gonna clean these valve covers off here. Just gonna run my rag in here, soak up the little bit of oil that's in the bottom here. Double check everything in here, make sure there's no debris in there. Put a little bit of carb cleaner on my rag. I'm gonna run it all the way here, just a degreaser. my hose here back on the fuel pump here. Just gonna give this a good clean in here, some degreaser. One hour later. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I took both the spark plugs out of the motor and uh, right now it's uh, wide open throttle right now and uh, I'm gonna put my compression tool here, see how much uh, compression I got now. 158. That is really good. Now let's check for spark.
Yep, we got spark. I've got the fuel line here. Put that in there. We've got the gas cable here. This up here. I'll put the throttle all the way down. Okay, all the way up and choke. So this lever goes all the way up. Yep, that looks good. So I'll put some oil in the motor and a filter. And uh, I'm going to put gas in the gas tank and uh, put the spark plugs back in, put the cover on. Put a little bit of gas in here. Perfect. I like it. Just a little bit more. smoke no nothing i'm gonna hook up the john deere wiring harness to this here so it charges the battery so i took this wiring harness off this 19.5 horsepower motor this uh, motor here is junk this is the kill wire and this is the gray wire going to the carburetor okay put a little some heat shrink here all right I'll put some solder on here I'll put a little piece of electrical tape there. Put the little heat shrink on top right there. And heat that up. That looks really good. I'm going to start it up and see where if we could uh, tap off that red wire. So this orange wire right here. Yeah, definitely the carburetor there is running rich. I gotta have to clean that up. But anyway, uh, there's nothing coming out of this regulator. So I got 26 volts uh, AC coming out of here. I'm just gonna hook up another regulator right here. I'm gonna drill a hole out here. Cause it's a V-twin here. And it takes the dual exhaust. Uh, this used to be a single exhaust, so that's why it's only got one hole here. It has to be one and one eighth. This is a step drill, so I marked it how far I'm going to drill it here. belt on here in the pulley. Ooh, man. This thing is dirty. Here, through here. Let's see if we can get that. Put a little bit in there. The choke on. If you like this video, press thumbs up below, subscribe to my channel, thank you for watching.